What's up, baby gamers? We are back from Poland now, and in this next few days, I'm gonna be going over our games that we played in Poland. So if you watch it, you know that it didn't really go very good for us. We got uh, top four, so uh, with the ranking, we are still in a good position since we also qualified for the next month. But for this performance this month, it was definitely not very good, and yeah, that's what we're gonna be taking a look at. So first match here against Omen Elite, we banned uh, Mr. P and Omen Elite. Um, they banned Jean. So the maps that we're actually playing uh, for this first match here is Layer Cake, Double Swoosh, Nuts and Balls, Hot Potato, and the Fire Penalty Kick. Okay, so for the first map here, Layer Cake, we're playing Tick, Penny, and Piper, and they're playing almost the same combo with a Brock. Also, I want to mention that Megulian, you can see, is playing uh, Brock for that team. He's actually not in the main roster for Omen Elite, but one of the players unfortunately couldn't go. Um, so I think that's important to mention too, but here for the game you can see on this map It's a very stale like very slow beginning both teams uh, Waiting for something to happen or for something to try to go for the star so there uh, Tusi sneaks up on the side and gets a pick and we also get the star up. so a really good beginning for us uh, Up to three points. So basically they're gonna have to do the move So now for us, we're gonna be trying to just make sure that the other team um, they're not gonna be getting the supers because without the supers they won't be able to make any plays and um, Yeah, you can see pretty much um, Nothing's gonna happen before they they make a play because we're gonna be playing defensive and here They actually get some good hits in despite us being in a, a good position. They got some hits in that forced us to fall back to heal up and uh, well they now push us all the way back to our last wall and got us corner up against the wall. So this is a really bad situation for us. Uh, and Twist Trick is also going to go down there. And that is going to mean that now, although we're looking really good, uh, it switched up. Um, and with only 30 seconds left, it's definitely not looking very good here. And we don't have the supers. So we're going to be just trying to push up. And actually, without even hitting the other teams, they are going to be falling back very, very, very quickly. And that is gonna um, allow us to have an opportunity here. And you can see that um, Mia and Twisty gonna get a kill there. Skyx almost going down, but the Brock going aggressive for that. And that is actually gonna allow Twisty to get the other pick up there. So that was definitely really solid game by Twist Tricks out there. GG, let's jump into the next game. Alright, guys, so for this next game here, um, Pretty much the same beginning again. This time we're not going to be going for the same play with Twisty going up in the side because they're going to be expecting that. Instead, Twisty uh, going to go a little bit too aggressive there for the star. It's going to get picked up. Uh, that's going to give them a one star lead and that's going to give them the advantage for this game. But last time you saw how the game turned around very quickly. So, yeah. This time um, we're just waiting for the super pretty much. And against the tick. Sky he can't really uh, do much. Twisty actually go in there for pick, but he gets picked up too. Uh, so it's not really going to help us out much now. They just have a two star lead, but they do also have three stars on the rock and on car too. Um, so there, you know, you Sky try to get a super so he can open up a wall, the walls a little bit. So here we decide to switch side because Sky can get a super a lot quicker against Megulian. Um so yeah, S still there's not really much we can do. We we don't have we're not behind too much, so we don't like need to. If we go up and die, we're gonna basically throw that. And here you can see Sky actually get picked up. So that's gonna put us in a really really bad position. So they both have now a lot of stars, so there's still possibility for comeback. And since they're low, Tuzi tried to put on some pressure there, but with the walls broken, he went down. And uh, yeah, me against Tar uh, Kari, like the tick with tick matchup is just pretty, pretty stale. So um, I did get my ticket here, and with so little time, we're gonna be trying to push down a little bit. And um, yeah, there we're gonna get a tie out, but tie it's so um, like no teams wanna risk anything to get it. So we decide to stay back. They uh, well, obviously gonna stay back. And uh, so yeah, that's gonna be a tie. Alright guys, so here, again, another game on layer cake here. So it's still 1-0 to us. You can see also on top there, uh, we have one. We just need one more and then we're gonna win this set. 
So this time right away I'm in the in the right side. We want to try something new. Um so the right side for tech is definitely definitely a little bit at a, uh, a disadvantage, but uh, it well <laughs> that tick goes way too aggressive, so we're actually gonna get the kill on the tick. And that is gonna put us three versus two, also allowing us to pick up this the one in the middle. So again, like the first game, we're in a really good spot here. And um yeah, we just have to stay back basically and try not to get them super. And you can see Sky also getting a super a lot quicker than them. Actually gonna break that cover uh, in the left side and it's gonna open it up a lot. And um, yeah, now there's no cover really for Suwon to hide behind. So uh, there they actually got a, get a hit on, on Skarks. But since it's Tick versus Tick and Brock versus Brock, they're still not gonna be able to use that a lot to, to push up, which is um, pretty interesting. Since with take they would have definitely pushed up right away. So here I do get some pressure by the Piper in the middle. Um, but we're gonna be able to even that out by getting the ticket down it, which is pretty nice. So we're just gonna put it uh, very even again here. So already you can see it's down to 30 seconds. Nothing happened basically this game. So Sky and Twisty can also die too. So we're gonna be trying to put up, like we don't want to fall back too early. And uh, yeah, they're gonna have, be forced to go more aggressive now. And with the pack there, they are now they were like two versus three, so not really much for them to do. And yeah, they're gonna be giving last attempt here to try to push up. Five seconds left. Uh, I'm actually gonna pick a kill in the middle and just chill around the corridor. It's gonna be a GG. So it's gonna be like a snowball effect when you already have the lead. You're gonna continue to get that lead. So that GG for leg cake, we are gonna be going to next set. Pretty interesting, here's actually our set stats. You can see there are only 10 kills, and we only died six times, so definitely, I mean, kills are super important for bounty. All right, so next map here, double swoosh. You can see it's a map with a lot of grass, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so you can see we're actually gonna be playing uh, with Pam, Max, and Sandy, so Genius Band, or else I would say Genius, a very popular pick. So they're gonna be playing with the Sandy in the middle, and I'm gonna be playing with the Max in the middle. So first off the bat, I would say that when there's no super, we have the advantage. Once target is super, it can be very dangerous, especially with the with the speed from the Sandy. I mean, of course, the speed from the Max, but uh, yeah, you can see. Sandy as a gem carrier is definitely can be pretty annoying for me, but um, I'm very I can be very quick to pick up the gems uh, because Max is such a fast brawler. Here we're gonna be able to get the kill on Mikulin together, and Sky's gonna be coming back up. I'm gonna pinch there, and Sky is gonna get his uh, super down too, and they're gonna have to place a very defensive Sandy super, which is not gonna help them a lot. We have uh, so much pressure up on them. Um, so here you see the defensive Sandy super. And Sky can just stay up, he don't have to fall back because he got the turret up. And I'm gonna be speeding up here Twisted too. So he's gonna it's gonna be trying to put a little pressure on. You can see all of them are low. And we basically managed to pick up all the gems so far. So here a nice kill by Twisty. Sky's gonna be pushing very aggressive too. Is uh, gonna get the kill go down too. It's it's fine for us. We're just gonna have to distract them now. Got all the gems and this game was pretty much Domination, I would say. So, um, yeah, almost getting down in corner, but yeah, that is gonna be a GG. Even if I died there, the gems would have just dropped on the ground and uh, we would have picked them up anyways. But GG, let's jump into the next one. Alright, guys, so second game here of Gem Grab, and we're just going with the same strategy. And they are, I have decided to go with Carl. Carl's definitely a super great pick for them. Um, yeah, definitely strong against Pam. And me and Sky are gonna have to play really good together. So we do have a little bit of advantage before Carl gets a swing, but you can see that how quickly he got that. Here, great team play by me and Twisty actually gonna take out the side for Twisty very, very quickly. And uh, gonna put us in a free versus two. Sky's gonna have a super now, but um, you can see how easy Carl can swing and take that down. So it's not really gonna help out uh, Sky a whole lot to have that super. Here though, Twisty got his super down and we have now won all our side, but it's very difficult for uh, for Sky to actually win the right side to, to give us that advantage. 
and I also am spending a lot of time on that. So in the meantime, you can see me ghouling him and just pick up six gems. Um, so yeah, definitely when we can't have the right side with Pam, it was not as great pick with Max because it was more difficult for me to pick up the gems in the middle. And now since I already have so many gems, it puts on a lot more pressure for me to get the gems actually. Um, so here, Kari goes in again with the shield and yeah, that was actually pretty good for us. He didn't manage to get anything done and we managed to get back into control here and allow us to come a little bit back. So remember they were at like 6-2 and now we are at 7-7. So definitely pretty good comeback for us. Um, so just basically Skarxy didn't try to go as much up in the bush and he just managed to stay down and distract him in that way. But um, here 8-8, eight, eight, so this gem spawning now is gonna be really important. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get that one. Maybe retrospect, I should have uh, focused a little bit more on getting the gems. But definitely here, when we are in uh, two verse three, it's definitely well pretty solid. So unfortunately, these gems do spawn on their side. Um, but we do have, we do also have the opportunity to come back. So they did pick up one more gem, so not anymore. Twisty's gonna get a kill there. Another one who have the balls. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be able to roll away and we're not gonna be able to make the comeback. You can see the gem just spawning the last sec and that is gonna be a one to one in gem grab set. So let's jump into the final game for gem grab. Hi right, guys, so for the final gem grab game here, we are have switched now to Terra. So Terra is a great pick against uh, Carl actually, and but they actually decided to switch to Terra too. So it's a mirror matchup here. And for the first time, they're going very aggressive and it's working out really well for them. Uh, I did pick up a kill here, but you can see they're able to pick up all the gems. Um, and they probably also a lot closer to the super, so here. Curry's actually gonna get a super down. I'm gonna get my super, this guy get a super too. Um, so yeah, that we do have now. Three gems on Megulian, which is pretty good for us that they're not on a gem carrier. And... Yeah, it's pretty even here again also in the gems um, but yeah thinking about that they have all the gems on Megul it's definitely uh, a better situation for us I would say and here despite the bad beginning we have managed to turn that around so this is gonna also break a little bit of the bush and we're gonna now be able to pick up the gems so here that game just turned around so quickly um, this tower super can change the game uh, very quickly and they're definitely really so far so here Twisty is uh, gonna go in in the bush, not knowing that the tower is there probably, and we're just gonna be picking up the gems that was from him. And yeah, pretty much in gem grab when you have the gems, there's uh, not a comeback when you already have the countdown started. And um, yeah, that is a GG for gem grab. So let's jump into the next set. Alright, guys. So the stats for the set is actually that we got. 26 kills and they only got 11 so I would say we definitely played pretty good um, Managed to go aggressive on the correct times and um, Spawn tracking them sometimes, but let's jump into the next set. All right, so the next set here nuts and bolts uh, Siege in the beginning. We're going uh, Pam Daryl and Sandy uh, Two on the side on the bolt. I'm actually gonna go mid trying to pinch them it's not really going to work out that well for us. Um, like they are going to be able to get two. We got two as well. So that basically just means a tie. So we do have a combo with a really good control with the Sandy Super and also the Pam. The Pam turret. Um, and like the Frank on that team is actually going to help us out. Because he's going to break the walls and that is going to help us. So yeah, despite it being a tie in the beginning. We actually managed now to have pretty much just full control. And anytime Frankie wants a super, uh, Twist can also just roll him. Um, and the Sandy super, we can cancel that out too in the Pam turret. So, I mean, overall, we just have a great combo against their combo. And, well, yeah, great combo by us, pretty much. Um, I don't see what they can really do. Um, I mean, the only option they have is to make a really good defense and then... Make sure they have enough balls to win the last round, but you can see which our uh, control was just so insane. 
that even with a level 17 robot, we can just get a little bit of damage, but still chill uh, and just get the last one. So you can see that's what we're going to be doing. I mean, we could have maybe finished that, but there's absolutely no reason to risk that. And not that, like now we have a control combo and yeah, you can see here, we're going to be able to, to get pretty much just team wipe and then collect balls for last 10 seconds, get the last robot and that right here is the GG. And um, yeah, if we, f we could have finished probably in a roll there, she's just going to be trying to make a roll to finish it a little bit earlier, but there's no way they're going to be able to get any damage done without the robots. And especially not that we already deal so much. So yeah, that is a uh, GG for the first game in CG. She's actually going to give us a match point to win the whole. She's going to roll in there, finishing it. Oh, okay. Sky is going to be able to finish that four seconds earlier. So GG. Let's take a look at maybe the last game. Alright guys, so for Siege here, possibly last game, they are, they have switched however, uh, to Bali. We also did switch um, from Pam. So that was actually pretty good for us because Bali, he can um, easily take out the Turk from Pam. And still with the Sandy double tank, we're able to, uh, to defend really well and also we're able to have enough bolts to well we just need the one robot and we can go in basically with this combo because we are able to defend so well and we are able to get so much damage with this combo so here uh yeah in the beginning it's gonna be even pretty much a little bit a uh, little bit close here on bolts so i mean it's not necessarily good to get this first robot here because then the other team is going to be able to get the last and yeah, we know that, so we just um, want them to have this robot so we can have the last. You can see that uh, we take careful look to make sure that they get more balls than us so that we're going to be able to get the last one. So here you can see um, that we're not going to be able to get it. It's actually going to be a tie. So yeah, we, are, we, we didn't want to get the robot because we know that they can get the last and they will be able to win. So tie is definitely pretty risky to go for. We we're just trying to make sure we didn't get that uh, as that would have definitely been a loss it's very difficult to defend in, in uh, yeah to defend the robot uh, I mean to take take hundred percent damage but uh, attacking on the last push you can almost always win that because you're gonna have a really strong robot and you can just go in and you don't have to respawn again you don't have to get any more balls you have to worry about any of that so here we know pretty much we're gonna get it so twisty go in they are getting 31 percent damage very nice i'm gonna be respawning with the robot there actually not the best uh you pref it's much better if you can have control of the middle but in the end it's not gonna matter it's the last robot so yeah like they can't get any damage here you can see solon trying something but they have zero percent we already have some from twisty before so there that is going to be a GG and we're going to be able to win against Omen Elite here. So um, that was it for the first game here against Omen Elite. So I mean, pretty good games. Uh, week 1, 3-0. And um, yeah, we played a lot for this quarterfinal games. I would say like we prepared a lot for them. So we pretty much know what we're going to do. They did have a good ban on Gene. Sky is a very good Gene. He plays a lot of Gene uh, also for a double swoosh. It can be difficult to play that without Gene. Uh, Gene is used, um, well, also on nuts and bolts, and and, and also on a layer kick. So it's definitely a good band to to hit all the different game modes and to change the meta up a lot. So GG to uh, Omen Elite here, and um, tomorrow I'm gonna be taking a look at the matches against PSG, and then the day after we're gonna be taking a look at the matches against Clash, and that is definitely gonna be a little bit more interesting. Uh, because well it didn't go very well so we're gonna be taking a look at the mistakes we did and uh, that was it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm glad to be back on the channel again i didn't upload for a week so sorry about that that was it for now i'll see you guys tomorrow bye